What's up, Beauty Rob here, bringing you some more Tigers franchise mode here in LVS Show 19. Today, we are going to be doing the August review. We are nearing the end of the season, guys. A lot has been going on, but let's just review August with our wins and losses. We are 83 and 49. We've had a lot of... We started off the month, actually, with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11 12 game winning streak pretty much if you consider the last two days of July we had a 12 game winning streak we lost one then won our next three had a three game losing streak uh, a two game winning streak random loss there two and then we finished off August on a four game winning streak and that brings us to where we're at now pretty much with our record lineup wise everyone's still doing all right Mookie Betts batting 310, 17 home runs, 68 RBIs. Steven Piscotty starting to turn things around. 282, 15, and 54. Aaron Judge, 282 as well, 18 and 64. Manny Machado, average wise, still going up and down, but the other numbers, 18 and 66, still pretty good. Then Miguel Cabrera, 296, 28 and 78. Derek Hill, 257, 5 and 37. Peter O'Brien, 273, 28. It's a lot of home runs, but it's Peter O'Brien's got a lot of power, as you can see. 28 and 71. Dixon Machado, 256, 8 and 46. And then Raul Mondesi, 254, 6 and 38. Raul's actually third in the American League Rookie of the Year race. So we'll see if he, if he heats it up towards the end. If he can jump up there to first, maybe just sneak in there at the last minute, win Rookie of the Year. That's a possibility. He's definitely got potential to do so. And the bench is still just kind of there. Rotation-wise, we have to make a change there. We'll explain that in a second. David Price, 11-10, 292. Julio Tehran, 18-4 and four with a 2.64 ERA. He's at the top for American League Cy Young race, or at the top of the American League Cy Young race at the moment. Then, 10 and 7, 3.69 ERA for Robert Stevenson. Iglesias, 14 and 4, 2.94 ERA. And Josh Gaskins, who's now in the rotation as the fifth man for the time being, 3 and 3, 4.38 ERA and 92 strikeouts. And then Jacob DeGrom, he's been on top of struggling, he's just not happy. So, and him being in the bullpen makes him even more unhappy, but he's not doing too good at the moment. ERA-wise, better than Gaskins, but overall this season, he's despite the 10-7 and 7 record, he's just kind of dropped off compared to previous seasons since we've had him. So we got to work out that. I think he's a free agent at the end of the year anyway, so we'll see if DeGrom can do something at within the last month of the regular season. Then we have Kent Emanuel, who we called up a few episodes ago. He is 3-1, a 4-2-2 ERA. Ken Giles, ERA-wise, still struggling. Other than that, he's been doing pretty solid. Wes Suzuki doing very well. 2.43 ERA. Joe Jimenez, 47 strikeouts, 2.53. Dominic Leone has definitely rebounded. Later in the year, 1.57 ERA, and then Kelvin Herrera, 47 strikeouts, a 3.19 ERA. So everyone either slowly getting better here at the end of the season, or just kind of staying put where they've been at for a while. So morale-wise, everyone for the most part is doing all right, except for Degrom, of course, because he's not exceeding any expectations and. And he's also now not in the rotation at the moment. So uh, let's look at injuries next. Joey Van's still out. He should be coming back soon, though. A few days for that. Justin Hirsch, forearm fracture. He's going to be pretty much done for the rest of the season. And then Johnny Glover just went down a couple days ago during some simulation. Cartilage damage in the knee. He's going to be out pretty much the rest of the season. I don't think these guys were some we would be calling up during September call-ups next episode anyway. So that doesn't hinder us there. It's just a blow to the minor league teams for the most part. 
let's look at standings really quick. And I think then we'll wrap it up. And then when next episode, like we just said, we'll be we'll do a September game featuring some of the call ups that we make. And I think then we'll do a September end of season review, and then we'll get ready for playoffs in a couple episodes. So we are 83 and 49. We are in first place in the American League Central. Then the West, the Rangers are now starting to run away with the division. Yankees, Athletics, Mariners, Royals, and Blue Jays and Indians are all within five games. Yankees and Athletics have the first two wild card spots at the moment. National League. Of course, Nationals are running away with the East. Reds running away with the Central. Diamondbacks have the Dodgers on their back and the Rockies too. Close division race there and then an even closer and a wild card race. So, um, awards. Yeah, we're going to look through that. Tehran could possibly win the Cy Young Award and be the fourth or fifth straight year that a Tiger has won that award then we have uh, I think Rebel Montesi third like we said Iglesias could win gold glove for pitcher Peter O'Brien's second on the gold glove race for catcher and Manny Machado despite his offensive woes defensively he's just been excellent so that wouldn't be a shock if he wins gold glove at third base this year Derek Hill third in the left field gold glove race. And Steven Piscotti second for right field. Silver Slugger, Peter O'Brien. Yep, that will look at the end of the season, I think. But let's see. Uh, GM goals were on good pace for. We're going to be staying here for a while, I think. Unless we decide to... Uh, it's actually something. No, never mind. We're not going to get into that topic right now. We'll address that in the final episode of the season, actually, probably in the off-season episode. But I think we're at September now, of course, 8349, like we said. I think we're going to wrap it up here. So if you guys enjoyed this August review episode of Tigers Franchise, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we'll see everybody next time. Gotta go, man. I'm on the chase now. Leave me on my own. I got a chance to break now. Here I fucking go. Take control of fate.